Here I want to show you the Audacity Chains as a way of saving a lot of time in creating your podcast or your audio in general. So chains are a way to automate processing. Uh, by processing, I mean anything that changes the sound, so normalization, uh, equalization, compression, limiting, that kind of thing. So once you've got your recording in here, all you do is go into File, Chains, and edit chains and that brings up the chains options. So in here we can create a new chain or we can edit existing ones. I'm going to create a new one just now so let's go for my chain and right now it's empty. So this is just going to be a set of commands, a set of processes that we apply to our audio. So in the kind of general minimum processes that I tend to recommend You've got normalization as the first one. Normalization really just makes sure that your volume is in the right region uh, for the podcast. So uh, you can go to insert to insert something new. That lets you select a command. I'm going to go to normalize and I can edit the parameters in here so I can choose how to normalize it. So uh, normalize maximum amplitude, that's the one you would usually change. I would normally have that maybe minus two, but that's up to yourself as well. Uh, click OK, and then click OK again, and that adds it to the queue. So that means it's now going to normalize. This chain will now normalize to that setting, so I'll use that as a default. The power is when you start adding other things. So say you always apply an equalization to your show because you like to boost your, your bass a little bit perhaps, or you like to roll off some of the mid or the highs, just something that suits your voice. You'll equalize depending on what your voice is like. So all you do is you add equalization, you edit the parameters, and then you edit the settings. So here's a bass roll off here, low roll off for speech. You can select a curve, so I can go for a bass boost even. Uh, you can go for the 100, mil, um, 100 hertz rumble. So maybe I would do that and I know that my voice benefits from having a little bit taken off around about that area. Maybe a wee bit of a boost around here. Maybe that's what suits my voice. So I'll click OK. And I'll add that to the chain as well. So now it's going to normalize and it's going to equalize. You can move them up or down. So equalization, normalization, I'll go equalize first, normalize next, then perhaps I'll add maybe a compression. So I know how I would normally compress my uh, my recording. Edit parameters, set them all up the way you'd want it, press OK, and then it adds it to the queue. So the power of this is really, if you're recording a similar thing every single time, so you know that the volumes, the setup, the sound is going to be similar every single time. And that tends to happen if you record a podcast in the same place every time. So we've got our studio next door. I always record my voiceovers in the same place with the same microphone, the same voice, my voice. So I know that I can safely apply very similar settings every single time. I set this up once, I make sure I've got the right settings, it all sounds good. And then I can just apply this chain every single time. If I click OK there, now all I do is double click my vocal track here, go up to File, Chains, Apply Chain. I select that new one that I just created apply to files, uh, sorry, apply to current project even, and it applies it to that. So that has now applied all three of those processes to this bit of audio. That's great, it's saved me a lot of time in going through and applying them separately, setting all the settings up. Um, and if you've got two or three people you work with especially, so you've got co-hosts, um, or you want to apply a similar thing to your Skype calls every single time, because Skype calls tend to have similar problems. You might want to apply the same thing, at least the base level, to it, and you can do that every time, and you can apply that to every vocal track you bring in. It saves a whole lot of time. So I hope that gives you an idea of how Audacity chains work, how you can set them up, and how they might save you a bit of time in your podcast editing.